wanted to make this video to show you how to do the measuring angles using the power polygons. So I have here all of the power polygons that we have in class. And we know that a square right here has four 90 degree angles. One, two, three, four. So we can use that information to help us figure out how to measure other angles. So if you look at this line right here and this line right here, these are the two lines where they meet together as the vertex. The space in between these two lines is the degree of the angle. So in order to measure that, I'm going to take a square and line it up in the corner, in the vertex. vertex. So I know that this is a 90 degree angle because when I line up a square, which I already know is 90 degrees, it fits in there perfect. So that tells me that this is 90 degrees. So I can use that to help me, <coughs> excuse me, measure some other shapes to figure out what they equal. Let's start with the letter O. And let's say I want to put in the letter O. And I put this O in and I line it up with this shape. So I've got to get my point right down in the corner and I'm going to clone it. And then I'm going to put another one. And you can see I still have some white area here. So I'm not quite at 90 degrees now. So I'm going to try another one and see what happens. Let me turn this and put this one in. Turn it and line up those sides. Yep, you can see I've got three O shapes and they equal 90 degrees. So if the total of three O's equals 90 degrees, I've got to figure out how much is each one. And then I can use that to help me divide. So if I had 90 and I want to divide by 3, I do 90 divided by 3. You can skip count by 3's till you get to 90. You can do 3 times 10, 3 times 10, 3 times 10, add them up. 90 divided by 3 equals 30. So that means that each of these O pieces equals 30 degrees. So the shape O equals 30 degrees. Now knowing that, I can use that information to help me measure another angle. So let's take, for example, this sh shape that I have right here. And I know that the O is going to be is going to be 30 degrees because three O's equals 90. So I'm going to line them up in the corner so I can measure my angle. Let me tilt that just a little bit more and turn it and bring it over. And I'm going to do another one and see if I can line it up. All right, tilt this a little bit, and the one over here it needs to be tilted a little bit more and brought over because it's got to line up exactly with the corner. Move this one over and look at that. So now I have two O's. So if each one equals 30, that tells me that this is going to be 30 plus 30. 30 for this one, 30 for this one. So when I add them, I get that angle is 60 degrees. You can do the same thing with other shapes. Some of them, they're, they might be multiples of 10. Some of them might be multiples of 5. So for example, I've got this shape right here. This is an F. I'm going to line it up here. And then I've got another F. So 2F's equals 90 degrees. So if I take 90 degrees and I divide it by 2, that'll tell me how much F is. So I've got 90 divided by 2, because I have two shapes, and that equals what one letter F equals. Can you figure it out? 
What's 90 divided by 2? That'll be the measurement for F. I hope this helps you figure out the assignment that you need to correct in your math book on making and building angles. Thanks so much.